Someone asked about making tree stumps out of concrete. Uh, we use the tree stumps for two purposes. Uh, and we start with just a cylinder made out of expanded metal lath. Let's cut a strip, bend it around into a cylindrical shape, tie it together with some wire ties. This is how we'll start all of our tree stumps. These smaller diameter ones will be used for making the legs of a bench and the larger diameter ones will be making some tree stump planters. Yeah, we're going to make these planters and these bench feet inside. So if you decide to do the same in your garage I suggest you lay down plastic or you'll have a mess on your floor. It's sometimes hard to get up. And if you do lay plastic down, do be careful because it can be very, very slippery. What I'll do now is just take this mixture and we'll start adding it to the inside. I don't need a thick layer on the inside. All I need is enough to cover the mesh. After you've coated the inside, that's what you end up with. Do not smooth the outside. Leave all those bumps where it squeezed through the mesh because that's going to provide good tooth for the layer that you're going to put on the outside to make the, uh, the outside of the stump. And we can take a look at that a little closer and show you just how bumpy that is. It gives good tooth for the layer will go on the outside. Now you just don't touch it anymore, you just leave it sit overnight so that that, uh, that all hardens and is ready to go for the next layer. The only thing it's smoothed out somewhat is on the inside. And uh, you just work at it best you can. And there's the inside. Work from the bottom up and when it, as it falls off, you just keep pushing it back up toward the top. Eventually it all sticks. And uh, you're ready to go to the next layer tomorrow. And this one is going to be, probably used as a leg for a bench. Yeah. We can just uh, use it to have it up. A, put the mix on the back of the trowel. It falls off fine. Just pull it up. Just keep pulling it up. And it goes through. It's a little narrower so it's a little harder for me to get my hand in there. And as you keep adding to it, you see we come higher and higher. Add a little more time to slate so it's uh, getting a little bit thicker.
and let it sit overnight. Okay, our cylinders have had a chance to harden overnight. They can now be lifted, picked up, moved about. The next step is to finish the outside to make them look as much as we can like tree stumps. So one of the things we should do is let's go out and take a look at some trees and see what we should do to make these look like tree stumps instead of concrete cylinders. Looking at trees that are growing naturally we see they're not just cylindrical but they tend to bell out at the bottom and also where the roots the main roots come out they form extensions and here's a real tree stump it just uh, of a recently cut down tree the stump I counted the rings about 110 years old you see the extensions of the roots that come out of this one You'll notice they're not evenly spaced around and in this case there are five root extensions that come out of this stump As a general rule, things will tend to look a little more natural if you keep things in odd numbers. It's the same, same mix, three sand to one cement. Liquid is acrylic, one part, three parts water. And in this case, we're going to make our walls of our stump a little thicker because since these are going to be the legs of a bench they're actually going to be structural they've got to support some weight so we want a little bit thicker walls on these and we put maybe on the on the planters and we won't make them lightweight necessarily we want the extensions that look like roots coming out to be made of solid concrete rather than incorporating any styrofoam in them so that they're good and solid and they serve as a base. And I'm going to put three root extensions on these, just like a three-legged stool, since they're going to be the base of a, uh, of a bench. I'll just start out and throw some of this concrete down. Start running it up on the sides, leave an extension here, like this was a root going into the ground. Another one over here. Try not to totally evenly space them. a good solid base the legs of a the legs of a three-legged stool. Oh shit here.
Working this now, adding to it to get the shape that you want on the bottom. Get those extensions out there, it looks like roots growing out. up until you get a good thickness clear at the top and you start to carry it. You want to above the head to be this about the same height. The height of them planters aren't so important as far as consistent height. Now they want these to be the same height. But you also want them to be somewhat level at the top. So we want to take the concrete all the way up and pass the rim. In this case, I want my concrete to be about an inch, an inch thick. But the thinking of making these, another way you might want to make these is just guys go buy some concrete sewer pipe, cut it off, some of the bigger sewer pipe, cut it off a piece in half, and then Paint it with some acrylic as bonding agent, and then throw your concrete on. You'd already have your cylinder shape, so do that as well. Then I want to level this off a little bit. Need more over here. doesn't have to be perfectly level on the top because when you set your actual bench on them you can uh, you put a layer of mortar on there anyway and you can kind of lay even things out with that. But we're going to let that set for just a little bit before we start putting any texturing in it to create a bark like look and then uh, once we get the bark texture on we let it sit up and then we'll Stain and seal it. Alright, we put this concrete set for half hour or so. Now, you want something that looks a little more artistic, and more realistic, get online and find, a, and find rollers online that you can just roll into the concrete and it makes a bark pattern. All we're interested in doing here is just making a Something that looks somewhat like bark, 
Remember, it's going to function as a foot uh, for a bench. And so I just take one puppy, get out of here. Just take my trowel, corner my trowel, and I just start cornering. Just make some wavy shaped lines. Crisscross them. Fill in with some short lines. Leaving some just like that. Then you can take the side of your trowel and lightly knock down edges. Give some flats. Then you go back and you throw some more raised pieces in. And that's all I'm interested in. This isn't faux bois or anything like that, making art. We're just making something that's going to look a little bit like bark and look better even when it's, when it's stained. So I just make some snaky looking curves, crisscross sometimes. Kind of get hung up in the fiber. And just do what you think. It was a barky looking texture. Remember, bark is kind of rough, depending on the tree species. Just don't make lines, but you'll make them. So it pushes a little ridge up. And then when you go back and hit it with the trowel, it knocks those ridges back down again. Back in, hit a few more. And then get it to where you, you like it. And that's basically all there is to it. Just roughen it up like that. Now you could take a spoon and you could pull down, layer bark over, end up something that looks like shag bark hickory. All we're doing is just trying to give the impression of bark. Down. Back hit some pieces. Remember, bark is the outer layer of the cambium. And it grows out, as it grows outward from the cambium layer, it splits. Well, that's what makes bark look the way it does. It's really dead, dead stuff that has split. So it comes in pieces like that. And that's, uh, that's good enough. I'll finish texturing that other side. And then what I'll do is let this sit till next week. I'm going home this week down here in Tennessee. And uh, go home next week. Come back. Following weekend. This will have sat for a while. Good and hard. And then we can stain it and seal it. And that's ready to be used. This is basically a video to show you how to make a bench. We've already made the benches and somebody came back and asked me how you make the st stumps so when I put the video together I'll put the process of making the board that goes across and after this uh, know that this was this was done last in the uh, The 
bench was actually done first. There it is, folks. Alrighty. And here are our tree stumps. They're now set for a week. These are the two that are going to be the legs for the bench. And these are two that are going to be planters. Now we're going to uh, clean up the edges and then we're going to uh, stain them. What we're going to do is just kind of clean up the sharp edges that are here. We'll just take a stone and just knock off. ready for staining. These are acid stains. The normal dilution for these is one part stain to one part water. There's a part of one of those stumps out there and I'm going to stain a little lighter. And I'm going to use a stain called coat. Now it's on a small area so I'm just going to put a little bit of coat in here. spot on this stump that I want to look like the bark has been peeled off. I constructed it that way and now I need to stain it. And you just take the acid stain and we'll put this in here. Acid stains work by they have uh, metal salts diluted in uh, muriatic acid, hydrochloric acid, and they react chemically with the concrete and cause this color change. Now, on the inside of a the bark of a stump, you're going to have some wood that is showing. So I'm going to stain part of this edge with this same taupe. Taupe is a, I'm sorry, with tannin. The tannin is a uh, color that's slightly yellow, orangey color. And we'll carry that down the edge. We don't have to stain the inside of these because they're going to be filled with dirt. And uh, flowers planted in them. So I'm just going down a little bit on the inside so that uh, when the dirt level comes up to stops or leaves some exposed concrete we want it to make it look like it's the same wood color. So I'll put a little bit of that on. As you can see, as it sits, it changes color. It's being a little more orange colored. And then over here, I'll have that in the view. I'll move over here a little bit. <coughs> Same thing here, I have two areas that I want to stain in a slightly different color. One of these being the end grain of a simulated uh, branch that has been cut off or knocked off and left a stump, a little stub of wood sticking here. And when things try, trees try to heal, the cambium will grow and pull the bark in kind of a curved arc around the broken end. So. That'll be a slightly different color. And 
then again, I suppose wood on the top. We're going to take that within a quarter of an inch or so. And here's a split I put in here, so maybe I'll just color a little bit of that in there too. Now you can use other colors on top. Now the tree stumps that are going to be used for the legs of the benches, we don't have to do any staining around the, the top edges because that's going to be covered with the board and there are no unusual kinds. We're just making the very simple kinds of shapes that will support the board bench. Okay, next step now is to get the base color. We want the tree bark to end up very dark. For our second color, I'm going to use a color called taupe. When it's very diluted, it uh, can make a very light brown. If you don't dilute it as much, it will make a darker brown. In this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a standard one-to-one -one dilution. And I do that by eye. I don't actually measure it out. I'll start with this taupe on this one so you can see the differences in the colors. <coughs> the development of the color actually takes a little bit of time. Especially this taupe, it seems to take longer than the, than the other colors to really develop its full depth of color. I'm just going to paint this on, let the acid do its, do its business later. If it's not dark enough for me, I add another coat. And if it's still not dark enough, I may end up diluting it just slightly less. So I want to work this into all of the cracks. There's tannin in that one spot, and taupe on the rest. In here. I want to go in the back now and uh, darken these up and highlight them. 